Today we have news about the startup of an integrated polypropylene resin and feedstock complex in Canada, plus an update on when a major polypropylene recycler plans to start production. Welcome to Material Insights, I'm Plastics News Editor Don Lupp. First up, on March 16th, Heartland Polymers announced that it had successfully started up its propane dehydrogenation plant in Strathcona County, Alberta, meaning the plant is now providing on-site feedstock for commercial production of polypropylene resin. Heartland's polypropylene resin plant was commissioned last year. Before the PDH plant entered into service, Heartland was producing polypropylene resin using PGP feedstock from parent company Inner Pipeline's natural gas liquids business. Heartland Polymers produced approximately 200 million pounds of polypropylene in 2022, after the initial production began in July. But the plan all along was for the complex to become the first integrated polypropylene production site of its kind in North America. Right now, Heartland is making homopolymer resins, and it plans to add random copolymers later this year. Current customers include film and sheet extruders, injection molders, and fiber manufacturers. Heartland Polymers is a business unit of New Jersey-based Interpipeline. Next up, PureCycle Technologies is pushing back the expected start of its polypropylene recycling plant in Ironton, Ohio. In a March 16th earnings call, CEO Dustin Olson updated analysts on the company's progress and explained how the, it's impacted its financial picture. We cannot wait to start up operations at Ironton. Over the last six months, we encountered and worked our way through several speed bumps and are now in control of our destiny. We are excited to be able to finally share with you the details associated with the solutions we've developed. It is now time for PureCycle to change the landscape of plastic recycling. Being late on mechanical completion caused the company to miss a 1 December 22 timeline in the original loan agreement and ultimately required a waiver between the bondholders and PureCycle. The process of getting a waiver was complex and time-consuming as there were many points to be resolved and parties engaged. We're extremely thankful for the support we've received from the bondholders to reach this solution. Finishing a project of this scale and complexity has proven difficult, but I'm excited to report that our flagship facility in Ironton, Ohio is in its final stages of construction and expected to be mechanically complete in early April. We are currently on track to circulate solvent, produce pellets, and be in a position to start ramping operations by the end of April. While behind the original set schedule set three years ago, this has only shifted the timeline. We still expect to be able to complete our startup plan inside of nine months as originally envisioned. Our goal still remains to produce 55 to 75 million pounds of ultra pure recycled resin in 2023. PureCycle will use solvents to purify polypropylene to create what the company calls a virgin-like recycled resin. The company technology was developed by Procter & Gamble. That's Material Insights for this week. Make sure to follow Plastics News for all the latest materials-related news in print and every day online at PlasticsNews.com.